and we're in week three now of MSA 603, first paper for the MSA 698 course. And this week is the week you're turning in your draft uh, 603 paper. This is a great week because you get a free uh, read. You're going to turn in your 603 draft. I'm going to provide you a grade and, and feedback, and you will know exactly what you need to do in order to turn in a good paper on week four. Uh, you won't get this for the rest of the course. So uh, 603 is the first paper. You've chosen your topic now. Uh, you're going to <coughs> um, approach that topic from um, the uh, lens of strategy, MSA 603 this week. And then we'll come back with uh, organizational dynamics 601, uh, globalization, multicultural 604, financial analysis 602, and then you'll summarize everything. And you'll be through with this course before you know it. So just take a couple seconds. I want to talk about the literature review, which is a very important part. Uh, as you notice, you've already submitted to me your um, paper with uh, your topic. Like e the example here is doctors want to know the feasibility of piloting the use of telemedicine for some patients. Okay, great topic if you happen to work in the medical uh, field. And they came up with seven questions and 603 has three of those questions. What percent of the patients are good candidates? What technology is required? And what insurance companies, what will insurance companies pay? And you need to write a literature review on those topics. So let's go down and look real fast. There's a lot of things about 603 uh, we've talked about already. But um, the literature review is really important. Developing a literature review and writing it. In the literature review, you summarize and discuss published information about the particular subject area. You are looking for studies, and each one of the questions you ask about 603, you want to go out and see if anyone else has researched that same area and what they found out, okay? Literature reviews represent a, the summary and advancements of co scholarly conversation or scholarly research. <coughs> Excuse my cough, I apologize. Uh, a literature review thoroughly describes work that has already been done on a specific area of research. It does not present new scholarship. A literature review has an organizational pattern and synth synthesizes the literature in a pattern supportive of your research questions. So you're going out to see who else has written about your topic, and then you're going to, to use it to either verify what you think about your topic or dispute what you think about your topic. A literature review is not a summary of each article, okay? Um, and uh, you're, when you look for a literature review, you are looking for scholarly articles, usually refereed journals. And um, uh, you're looking for studies that, that uh, um, individuals have done in the same topic as your three questions. And remember from the uh, library research when uh, Jennifer took us through uh, uh, how to conduct uh, research. And that's also a really good way to place to turn uh, this week as you write this draft, okay? Um, you want to look for um, uh, good, solid research that identifies uh, based on your issue areas you want to explore. Um, examples, the reason the morale is low if that happens in your topics. You'd look for motivation, morale, job satisfaction, or feasibility of opening a new coffee shop. Search topics like entrepreneurship, success failure rates of new businesses, competition in the coffee shop business, or maybe problems with military recruiting or retention. How military conflicts affect impact recruiting, outcomes of reenlistment bonuses, et cetera, et cetera. Those are the type of things you want to look for. Um, and you use that through the library system. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on that because you went through that. Uh, then you sit down and write. Uh, look at each of your three questions and write to those. Now, you don't have a lot of space because part of the pro uh, job here is to be succinct, okay? Uh, so if you're searching a uh, uh, problem related to employee compensation, if you might focus on three to five subtopics such as recent research on compensation methods, influence on uh, of compensation on motivation, compensation studies, Compensation to impact the bottom line, okay? And so if you follow this, you should do really well. Um, and I'm going to pull up real fast. 
that? How about this? Okay. This is a, an example of the paper. This is on library services. You can see um, introduction. They started out. They even use re literature in the introduction. Okay. You don't have to limit it just to your um, uh, literature review section. Okay. Uh, all through their talking, while they're telling about their introduction to our topic, they are introducing uh, someone else who's looked at it and said something good about it. Thompson, 2012. Okay, and then when you get down to a brief review of the literature, research conducted by uh, these four in 2016 found libraries were once places that people viewed as quiet sanctuaries and studies. Okay, and then uh, um, and then uh, the shift, the social shift of perception changed, and I got that from an article. Uh, a little bit more from Thompson. So you're you're defending the questions that you've asked about your topic. Okay. And it uh, doesn't have to be real long. Three or four pages of good literature will uh, suffice. Then you get down and you continue writing your paper. But you'll notice as you go through writing the paper, there's opportunity to use the literature some more. So if you get a good literature review on the questions you've asked on your topic, it will carry you all the way through this paper. And um, uh, just continue writing. Be succinct. Get to the point. And follow all the instructions you've had so far. Here's implications. Make sure that you come up with good, you don't need literature here, but make sure you come up with good conclusions and recommendations. And this first draft is going to be so good, you're going to be on your way to great papers. So this is Dr. Don Four. Thank you very much. I look forward to working with you the rest of this course.